Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In today's video, we will learn how we can analyze the data warehouse tables data using PySpark. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account, then click on below left hand corner, then click on data warehouse, then click on workspaces, then click on your workspace. Now click on your lake house. If you are not familiar with how you can create a lake house, please watch my other videos. I'll put link in the description. In earlier videos in data warehouse, we have loaded the data into the data warehouse using data pipeline and copy into command. Then we have transformed the data using T-SQL procedure. But now in this video, we will analyze the data of data warehouse table using notebook. So for that, first you need to open your lake house. Then click on get data. Then click on new shortcut. Then click on Microsoft one lake. This is my data warehouse from which I want to analyze the data. Click on it, then click on next, then choose your table which you want to analyze. Click on create. Here you can see we have a dimension customer table. A link has been created to the warehouse from data lake. As we are going to analyze the data using notebook, click on open notebook, click on new notebook. We will use PySpark to analyze the data. Don't need to worry about cluster and Spark session. Both will be taken care by Microsoft Fabric. When you run your code, a Spark session will automatically get created and it will be assigned to your notebook. To read the data from dimension customer table, write df equal to Spark dot read dot table under this you need to write lake house name dot your table name then we will fetch 10 rows let me run my code we got the data from dimension customer table now we will calculate number of customer by each buying group. So for that, write df1 equal to df dot select customer comma buying group dot group by buying group dot aggregation then expression under this right count of customer and we need to fetch the data from this data frame before running this code we need to import expression function from i spark dot sql dot functions import expr let's run our code we got the output so we have 15 customer for kids toys then 23 for this category 163 for this category and we have one na we need to remove this from our output because it's a invalid record so for that before group by write where under this write expr then your column name which is buying group should not equal to 
10 slash a. Let's run it. You can see it has been removed from our output. That's it. Thank you for watching this video.